I was born a long time ago in a land far, far away. What I mean to say is I was born on the 24th of October 1985 in Croxteth, Liverpool. Everyone in our neighbourhood was football crazy. Me and my mates used to spend all our time playing football in the streets. I grew up supporting Everton, so I was made up when I signed for them. I broke into the first team and scored against Arsenal just before my 17th birthday. This made me the youngest ever goal scorer in Premier League history, which is ironic because I was never any good at history, or geography, or maths. Anyway, it was like something out of a fairy story. But it couldn't last. The manager David Moyes and me fell out. I asked to join Man United and left for over 25 million, the most ever paid for someone under 18. Playing at United was like a fairy tale. I got to play alongside legends like Paul Scholes, Ruud van Nistelrooy and a little lad by the name of Cristiano Ronaldo. In my first season we only came third in the league and lost the FA Cup final to Arsenal. But I did become the youngest player in history to score a hat-trick in the Champions League though. Brilliant. But I had problems off the pitch that season. I got caught using prostitutes. I was young. The prostitutes weren't though. Whatever. I was young and stupid, but then I married my childhood sweetheart, Princess Fi- Colleen, in a wedding that was like something out of a fairy tale. Colleen keeps my head straight and my feet on the ground. I've won pretty much everything over the years. The League, the League Cup, the European Cup, but I still get a lot of abuse from the terraces. And you know what? It still hurts. It really hurts. Ogres, I, I mean footballers, have feelings too. So to improve my self-image, I took a bold, brave step. I got a hair transplant, and you know what? I felt happier and more confident every day. Whilst I've won everything except for the FA Cup as a club player, I've had ups and downs internationally. On the plus side, I was the youngest player ever to play for England, and the youngest player ever to score at the Euros. On the downside, I wasn't really fit at World Cup 2006, and then to cap it all, my own teammate Ronaldo got me sent off against Portugal. Wanker. Uh, I mean, winker. We're still mates. In fact, I've only ever scored once in the World Cup finals, but I have just been made captain, so I did live happily ever after. Off the pitch, I don't really party much anymore. I just like the quiet life. Maybe chilling out with my wife and kids and laughing at a good film, you know. Like Toy Story, Frozen, Brave, Despicable Me. There is another one but I forget the name. Zlatan was born in a humble hospital in Sweden on the 3rd of October 1981 in Malmö, Sweden to my parents, the father of Zlatan and the mother of Zlatan.